Afterburner, in my opinion, one of the best arcade games of all time. Uh, made by Yu Suzuki of Sega fame. Yu Suzuki strikes again. Afterburner is a very simple game. All you do is maneuver your plane, an F-14 Tomcat, and you have a machine gun, and really the main way of doing damage is locking on and firing off missiles. Awesome experience, I loved it. Fast and furious, frantic action. You can be killed so quickly in this game. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't believe the uh, graphics. I mean, they're zooming and scaling, spinning all around. It is really fun, it's definitely worth my 50 cents. They had two versions of this game, right? They had the stand up and they had the sit down version. The sit down cockpit version, which is the way to play the game. For you move the joystick and you would move, you could, the cockpit could move horizontally and vertically, it's very immersive. Such a satisfying That is experience. easily my favorite environmental cabinet right. ever. Both cabinets had a gray monitor frame that had uh, flashing lights that would let you know that you had been targeted. And so you could try to spin out of it, et cetera, et cetera, because you don't want to die today. The music was intense. It was definitely trying to rip off like the Top Gun soundtrack of the day with that kind of guitar riffy thing. Sega actually released Afterburner 2. Now, most people always tend to think of this as a sequel, but it's not. Afterburner 2 is actually just a slight update to Afterburner 1 that balances things out a little bit more. Even though a lot of the, the arcade machines simply said Afterburner, they were indeed Afterburner 2. Immersive. Talk about an immersive arcade game.